Yeah, so we have been uh, continuing with this series, touching upon aspects of integral education in the words of Mother and Shorabindu. So we started with their philosophy, why is integral education important? Then talking about the mental education, vital education, only touching upon because this is every theme is so vast that it cannot be really completed. Even I have to you know, put myself into the work also. So touching upon the aspects so that we become at least curious to know more and then we can ourselves study and you know research more and then use it in our own life also. So now we are in the stage that vital was finished and now we were coming to the psychic awakening of the psychic. And we have started with the psychic awakening already the last time, but today we will go deeper. And as I can see it, it, it is a whole series in itself study of psychic or psychic education is a whole series in itself so i am assuming if people are interested this can go on for a long time so let us start i have just made a little presentation we'll start with that just a second yeah. so i'll i hope the screen is okay this is a wrong screen just a second yeah. So I'll just start the presentation. We'll go over them one by one. Then we'll do some exercises in between also. So first of all, uh, and later on, I can also share the reference books for this that I have used. Why the need of psychic education at all? And Mother and Shorabindo have used this term psychic for uh, denoting the soul personality or the spokesperson of soul so spokesperson of the soul that's what the psychic being is so imagine soul as the flame in the center and around it a personality develops which we call the psychic being or the chatti purusha in uh, Sri Aurobindo's and mother's language so what is the need of psychic education why should we even care to know about it so you know, starting from how the creation happened, how all of us have been through these stages of consciousness, first being a rock, you know, total solid matter, inconscient, then plant, you know, having a little consciousness, a little awake, then living as insects, little, little unicellular organisms, multicellular organisms, maybe animals, you know, prehistoric animals, then developing a little of mind, you know, when we lived as apes, developing a little mind. So mind developed from matter, like from rock, plant, first came the vital force, the life force. So when we see a plant coming out of rock, you know, you must have seen many places, even cemented places, a plant sprouts out from there. So in the beginning, when plant sprouts out from rocky surfaces, that's, that is the life force, vital energy that we call that is also present in us, vitality, life force. That came out and then slowly it turned into mental consciousness. What when we call mind is a, you know, man is a thinking animal, thinking being. So slowly the mind developed and the consciousness that we have as human beings, that's why it's a special consciousness because the mental consciousness that we have or which we are capable of rising towards is a special aspect in creation. Yeah, that's why we call man the thinking animal. And yet we see that there is a lot of ignorance in matter. You know, even when I look at my own movements, there is a lot of ignorance. You know, I don't know really myself. At times I say something else. Other times I say that's the opposite of it. So why? Because there is a lot of inherent ignorance in us coming from our evolution of consciousness. And that's why we see in our vital movements, emotional movements, mental movements, we cannot truly trust our decisions. We can only make guesses. We cannot trust them. So it's only when we listen to the divine center, which has been given as a kind of a guiding light to us, the psychic being is the spokesperson of that uh, divine essence in us, the soul. Only then we can grow in a deeper harmony and we can progress towards our higher aim. And when we are in touch with the psychic being, everything becomes more beautiful. I think this experience, for example, that uh, Josna Ji was sharing, you know, you have an experience of beauty, admiration, inspiration, you know, gratitude 
wells up in the being. All these are coming from psychic being. Everything becomes more beautiful. And please uh, feel free to share in between. Uh, unmute and share. We stop making judgments. You know, otherwise we are just at the times making judgments about people or our own self. But then when we are in this psychic consciousness, everything appears for a reason. Even my pain is for a reason. All my struggles are for a reason. Yeah. So stop making judgments. We see the deep harmony which exists in spite of our outer appearances. So in the ego consciousness, I may have clashes with people around. But when I'm in psychic consciousness, even for a moment throughout the day, I see, I feel a oneness uh, with, 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 between the all of us. That Yes, on the surface, the person may have disagreements or other views, but we know that we are all one in a sense. And that's not an intellectual knowing. It's a knowing as a, at a deep level of the being that yes, that is, this is the truth. You know, one doesn't doubt it. So this is the, when you touch psychic consciousness and all of us have been there. It's not possible that we have not touched psychic consciousness. But the task is to make it the master of the being. We spread goodwill, harmony. We realize the importance to make vital mental body strong, pure, you know, full of, red, rid of impurities, flexible so that we can listen to contrasting views. You know, it's not that if somebody is saying something opposite to what I'm saying, I will be mad at him. You know, usually that's what we do in the ego consciousness. So very plastic, very supple. And Sri Aurobindo has uh, sh shared a lot of importance, given a lot of importance to making the mind very, very supple and vast. You know, like vast. It can... Uh, kind of take all the ideas, even the opposite ideas. And here, why to make our instrument? So the emotions, the thoughts, the body actions, this is an instrument that has been given to us. Mostly the instrument is used for the ego consciousness, which is a part of the process, but then we have to grow out of the egos. Ego is a helper, ego is the bar. And then we have to give proper place to the king of the matter, which is the psychic being. Yeah. So that the instrument can express the light out without any distortions. And it's not that, so the example usually I give for the psychic personality is that imagine there's a strong sun coming from outside and you have a very thin chicken wala curtain. Now every chicken curtain has different prints on it. That's our uniqueness. Otherwise, we become a solid brick wall. You know, like we don't allow the light to grow forward. But when we allow the psychic individuality to come forward, each of us becomes like the sun is the divine consciousness. And we are like thin, delicate curtains allowing the pattern to reflect or emerge. You know, so that is uh, how I see the psychic personality. And that's where we say, you know, each one is unique. And that's uh, each person is born with a unique kind of bent of inclination, natural preferences. Some may be good at art. Some may be good at patiently waiting. Other may have to develop the patient waiting, you know, but maybe very good in the vital energy, you know, that he is ready to willing to do all the tasks. So these are the special abilities that we are born with. And we have to develop these and then also grow in our capacities from weakness to strength. And mother says that a long, long preparation is necessary. A long preparation. And there are times when we see there are people in whose, uh, you know, when we meet them, their soul comes forward as if there is something more to those people than just the human personality. And that's just the result of their previous preparation that they have done through other lifetimes. So a long, long preparation is necessary. Effort is necessary because we are coming from ignorance. You know, we have to put effort. Determination is necessary since we go back to inconscient again and again. We go, slip into our tendencies. Repeated effort to live within. You know, repeatedly. So again and again, I will be thrown out on the surface. In the surface consciousness. Kisi ne kuch keh diya, kisi ne kuch insult kar diya. But then again and again, I have to come within. I have to stay with my inner movements. Silence my being and learn from the process yeah so what i am doing right in the process is i am silencing the being and i am also allowing so that the voice of the psychic can be heard 
इट्स लाइक प्रिपेयरिंग द इनर टेम्पल जस्ट लाइक मंदिर में यू नो वो करते हैं पुजारी दे इन वोक द प्रेजेंस ऑफ गॉड दैट्स वॉट वी हैव टू डू इफ वी वॉन्ट टू अलाउ द साइकिक टू कम फॉरवर्ड विच इज अवर ट्रू पर्सनैलिटी then we have to make the temple ready we have to purify it and this purification is a lifelong process yeah determination is needed because we are slaved by our tendencies and uh, the psychic beak doesn't impose itself ego imposes you know ego says listen to me you know i am saying but the psychic being is very shant it says and then it goes in the corner it's okay you know it has done its job so but it's ever present it's not that it never guides you it always guides us but we are so absorbed in the outer clutter that we are rarely there to listen to that inner voice but we always have the capacity yeah so anything from this slide any reflection okay so i'll go ahead yeah so only the soul i think we already touched upon this only how how to have harmony you know we al always want harmony in relationships harmony within the being harmony at the workplace you know finding answers to my question how to do that how to go about it only the soul in us can know the truth and guide us so when we meet somebody you know for example we we, we need all kind of help i may go to somebody and discuss or brainstorm about a challenge that i may be going through usually what people do these mentors or guides is that they help me mostly either they can suggest and that suggestion may resonate with me and the very fact that the suggestion resonates with me is that i already knew beforehand in my heart that this is the way forward but i did not want to accept it so the other person guides me you know he shows me that this is the possibility and then i talk to myself and i say i already knew that but why was i not able to follow it and there is a reason to this you know yesterday we were listening to dr basu and he uh, sumitra basu he is associated with pondicherry circles so he was saying that this the existence is based on satchit ananda you know consciousness uh, sorry sat is existence chit is consciousness and mother and shorobindo call is chit shakti consciousness along with force and then ananda is bliss now the moment it turns into manifestation from the unmanifest consciousness and force split apart so i may have the consciousness i may know what to do but i don't have the will power to do it the force is not there you know we see it many a times we make a discipline for ourselves i will do yoga for half an hour so i know i should do yoga but the will power after 3 4 days i am not able to do it that's because coming to a manifestation they have split apart consciousness and force have split apart knowledge and will have split apart now it's our task as human beings to bring them together through our sadhana and that's why you know we many a times we may know the truth but we don't have the power to follow the truth it happens with most of us that pata to hai but kar nahi pa rahe so that's because of this separation and slowly as we grow in our consciousness we allow ourselves to follow also and mother says that we are here on earth to progress earth is a field of progress so all the souls who have jumped into this adventure of progress uh they have done so very willingly that yes i want to do that so that's what we want to do through psychic education psychicization of thoughts you know that uh, divine is reflected in thoughts in feelings sense perceptions and otherwise yeah in actions for supply, so just touching upon it i i think will not go into detail mother and mother and shurubindo brought the highest possible consciousness on earth for human kind yeah that's what that's called supramental consciousness the super mind and with the help of this divine descent of super mind that's why most of us nowadays we see that no matter how many struggles or what painful experiences may have to go through most of us now are turning to spirituality you know even this period of lockdown all of that it has helped so many of us to talk about deeper questions that concern life so it is because of the descent of 
super mind anything from here anything yeah so i think we'll uh, do this exercise uh, which we have here uh, the worksheet but there's still a few slides yeah i think but just touching upon it mother says that we, we take it very easy you know we think that just eating and sleeping and doing here and there course that is what is there to life but mother says that we are at an exceptional hour very unique time and it's uh, we could easily get rid of everything that impedes and hinders our progress so we have to be become conscious of whatever hinders our progress the most important thing is to remember this fact even when one does not have the tangible experience to have the certainty of it you know many of times i may feel that oh you know that person had a psychic experience but i did not have you know so what is wrong with me many a times we may feel like that so mother says that even if we don't have any tangible experience even then to have faith and certainty that yes it is a possibility and i will be there to have that certitude we can participate in it we can become this new world and truly just a second when one has a, a such a marvelous opportunity one should be ready to give up everything for its sake so ye dedication chahiye humko agar if we really want to collaborate for this work you know bringing our true individuality forward and uh, helping also others in the process i think there is a lot of determination needed otherwise hum aisi cheezon ko important bana dete hain jo itni importance rakhti nahi hai usually and one of the uh, famous philosophers you know he says that the tragedy of man is that we are occupied in the unnecessary thinking of that as the necessary that's what happens with us so psychic being finding your psychic being according to the mother is the great discovery the supreme discovery you know go into the depths of your being and find out who you truly are so it's important for us to understand what is the structure of our being you know hum machine hain aur hame khud pata nahi ki hamare parts kya hain you know so what is the fun hame pata hi nahi hai ki kaun sa part kis samay aggravate ho jata hai kaun sa part kis samay trigger ho jata hai so each human being has an outer nature which we call the surface personality and then the inner nature and the innermost core जो कहते हैं ना ये सूक्ष्म शरीर शरीर और स्थूल शरीर अन्नमय कोश मनोमय कोश और दीज आर लेयर्स ऑफ अवर पर्सनैलिटी नाउ आउटर नेचर इज वेरी विजिबल टू ऑल ऑफ अस द थॉट्स अवर इमेजिनेशन अवर फीलिंग्स इमोशंस एंड द बॉडी द फिजिकल कॉन्शियसनेस मेंटल वाइटल फिजिकल एवरीथिंग दैट इज विजिबल टू द अदर्स ऑल दैट वी हियर टेस्ट टच स्मेल सो दिस वर्ल्ड ऑफ सेंसेज belongs to the outer nature and then we have the inner nature which is behind the scenes it is having its effect but it is behind the scenes it's not visible to others you know now my peace my silence within is not visible to others but i know that i am there yeah so this is behind the scenes not visible to other when we talk out of inner flame i may access the inner flame but it may not be visible to others so that is the inner being not visible to others not even to yourself inner mental inner vital inner physical hmm? the subtle physical or the inner physical a part of mental is constantly giving running commentary you know when we look at our thoughts jab bhi hum kisi ki baat sun rahe hote hain ya kisi se vichar vimarsh kar rahe hain agar baithe bhi hain khali तो यही होता है यू नो एक बैकग्राउंड में डिफॉल्ट कमेंट्री चल रही होती है मेनी अ टाइम्स इट्स अ न्यूट्रल कमेंट्री मेनी अ टाइम्स इट्स अ नेगेटिव और अ पॉजिटिव कमेंट्री बट द कमेंट्री इज गोइंग ऑन सो दिस आउटर वाइटल नोटिस ही इज गिविंग एन एग्जाम्पल हेयर ऑफ हाउ इज आउटर डिफरेंट फ्रॉम द इनर नाउ आई मे बी फियरफुल ऑफ डॉग्स नाउ द फियर इज द आउटर पार्ट बट आई डोंट नो वाई आई एम अफ्रेड ऑफ डॉग्स that's the part of inner that why this natural fear is there in me for dogs for other person it may be love for dogs he feels a natural inclination towards dogs so the love is visible on the outside the fondness is visible on the outside but inside i don't know why i love dogs i just love them 
so this is coming from the inner being the love for dogs which i don't know why it is there in my being or maybe love for nature no not everyone loves nature for example no we like to be in nature but love is not if you ask anyone would you like to sit with your computer or go out in nature not everyone would say yes 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 i want to you know uh, go out and swim or whatever in the lake so this fondness the reason for fondness is lying in the uh in the inner nature then comes the central being or the core which is the psychic personality the central being two main parts the self which is what we call as the atman you know ab main example iska aise de sakti hu jaise ki you know imagine that there is space in the room now that space is endless there is no limit to that space jo space aapke room ke andar ki hai वही स्पेस एक्सटेंड हो रही है मेरे रूम में भी इट्स द सेम स्पेस दैट्स व्हाट वी कॉल आत्मन द ग्रेट सेल्फ द हायर सेल्फ बट देर इज अ यूनिकनेस ऑफ द स्पेस इन योर हाउस एंड देर इज अ यूनिकनेस टू द स्पेस इन माय हाउस या एंड दैट इज द सोल सो द सेल्फ इज आत्मन विच इज कॉन्टिन्यूअस नेवर एंडिंग एंड देन देर इज सोल विच इज द यूनिकनेस ऑफ दैट particular individuality yeah so this is the part of the uh, central being one is the transcendental aspect that which has no limits and then other one is the personal aspect central being and i think i had shared one meditation with you by dr basu where he talks about touching the dimension of the psychic aradhna ji i had shared with you have you uh, tried that meditation Yes, you sent me long time back also that one. So yeah, yeah, where he says that imagine that you have yes series of people behind you people you know? yeah, and I think you shared that thing in your last uh, session as well. Session as well, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. So I think uh, because we we were there with uh, Dr. Basu when he was taking this workshop live in Pondicherry, and when we did that, it was a rem- remarkable experience, and uh, I just knew that yes, this is it, this is it. So. i have always shared with people who have wanted to touch this fourth dimension i think that's a very very powerful exercise so josna ji i can share with you uh, this if you want uh, he talks about you know imagine close your eyes and imagine that you have clones of you standing behind you yeah so there is a, as if there is a queue of you standing behind you and you close your eyes and look at that queue behind your back and you go back far further 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 until the last point in the series becomes a dot it goes very very far and then through throughout that queue you uh, put your attention on the last dot in that queue and bring that last forward and that being is occupying you from the back so it it can be only experienced when we do it actually for our own self touching this dimension of the psychic so i would recommend actually doing it yeah so i think this we already touched upon this that psychic being is something unique in us it has a unique personality we have to allow it to come forward it is the link between the outer nature and the inner nature the atman or the the highest self and it's here from the psychic being that the love for divine bhakti for divine wanting to grow and progress all this is coming from the psychic consciousness being aware of the psychic so many a times we are not even aware of the psychic being yet we have the aspiration so that is coming from the psychic being this aspiration is coming from the psychic being and what we have to do so that it comes forward is purification of outer nature i cannot imagine that a whole throughout the day i you know remain remain immersed in judging others and talking about others and even then i want my psychic to come forward that's not going to happen <laughs> so judging myself judging others remaining engaged in the negative loop of thinking that is not going to make the psychic come forward so there is a purification or a detoxification that is required and then the unification but we'll come to that later yeah i think uh, that's it
yeah and yeah this is very beautiful because little children you know that's why we are attracted to little children little newborns infants you know they have a purity purity about them they have an innocence about them and they also have a very suppleness softness of character you know uh, coming from the higher divine consciousness ego is not yet developed the soft spot is still there you know they are connect connected to the uh, to their sahasrar you know the divine opening is there and the lid has not yet closed and when the lid closes the ego personality has to form you know they have to develop the individuality but they are in oneness with the universe and that's where they are in touch natural touch with their own soul and that's why we find them so attractive so beautiful little children yeah and uh, mother and shurubindo have also touched upon this i think in savitri it comes this about you know some a little mention about the soft spot you know how it closes it this lid and when we grow as yogis or in our sadhana how this lid now again has to open you know so that we can connect with the divine consciousness but again it's a long long process yeah so i think we are now beginning the worksheet aspect or uh, how to go about it this was just um, an introductory introduction uh, so first step is to i should want it if i don't want it nobody can force me to go forward you know? so if i want to swim i will take the swimming lessons but if i don't want to swim even if somebody forces me into the water i would go back home again and would say oh my god you know no baba i don't want to do that so there has to be this willingness preparedness that now i am ready i really want to find it in myself to intensely want to find your true self if the intensity is not there maybe wait wait for some more time have some more bore blows in life you know maybe more tragedies and traumas that we go through because that they are the ones which prepare us to find our true self agar no, if not for suffering we will never care to find our true self <laughs> you know such are we that it's only through suffering that we connect or want to find something deeper something higher yeah and then if i am ready so let's do this worksheet uh, if you have a paper and a pen next to you that would be nice uh, it, it's always good to write down a few lines so the if there are a few questions for our reflections we can take a pause uh, and focus our consciousness deep in the heart in the horizontal depths of the heart either with with eyes open eyes closed does not matter however you are comfortable and these are the questions that we will be writing about so i think you can also look at the screen if you want or i can read them out just recollect go back in your memory what is the most valuable moment in my life and whatever comes forward first you would know okay this is the one many many moments important may be there but you would know which is the most valuable for you right now the most valuable moment in my life and then also feel the feeling associated with that moment how did you feel in the body when you recollect that moment when you revisit that memory how do you feel about it in the body what is the feeling it gives you and you can give that feeling a few words if you like yeah now the next question which is uh, not a direct part of this is are there things or any thing that brings me closer to my inner nature that takes me within what brings me close to my inner nature
and then when if we feel like after reading we can also uh, writing we can also share our experiences it will be nice if we want to share if you don't want to share that's also okay what is it that brings me deep within my being closer to my inner nature and then actually we can also parallelly talk about what are the things that throw me out to the surface there are things that throw me out on the surface in confusion in doubt you know all the surface nature the surface personality what throws me away in the th surface personality and what brings me close to my inner nature so those of us who are ready they can go ahead with the other questions the next one is the best present i can give to myself what would be that best present that i can give myself uh yeah neha you are not able to answer at all uh, do you want to talk about it what's happening if you want to share actually i am not able to recollect any specific moment so so uh, i think it would be nice if you take a moment pause in your self and go deep in the horizontal depths of your heart yeah so when we are engaged in the outer it does not come like that go go deeper in the being like in a half meditative state and see if anything comes out or answer whatever if you feel any answer is coming to any question just write down that right okay okay yeah. so one needs to be in a half trance like state like half meditative if possible so that the answers can come from within the best present i can give to myself and then is there anything that i would like to develop in myself something i would like to something on your mind or maybe your aspiration that okay this is what i would like to develop in myself so if we want to share uh, if we have written a few things it would be nice to share uh, just to make it more interactive and see learn from each other hear each other out and if you want to share please unmute and share yeah aradhna will go first uh yeah okay yeah. yeah okay okay mere liye jo um, memorable moments to life mein bahut hote hain but valuable jo tha i think the jo cheez mere dimag mein straight away aayi is that day when i was talking to garima about random stuff and then suddenly she said to me ki monica ke sessions hote hain and i jumped and i said can you please ask her to add me into your groups that was i think the most valuable moment memorable can be many but yeah that is of one thing and what was the next question i didn't write down the question and i started feeling like mujhe lagta tha ki every week i was waiting either to attend the session or to listen to the recording and what is it that i can pick up from it and that slow change in my being maybe more towards positive it's not that 
मैं बहुत बार स्लिप करती हूँ मेनी टाइम्स आई एम स्लिपिंग बट देर इज समथिंग एवरी टाइम विच लाइक आई डोट ब्रिंग्स मी आउट ऑफ इट सो या दैट इज द वन थिंग so what was the feeling associated with that moment was there any word nahi hai it's, it's any... just like a kind of a, it is as if ki koi ki kuch kuch mil gaya hai hmm, hmm. i have found something hmm, hmm. now when i look back hmm. i remember hmm. there were aaj uh, sabki life mein kuch na kuch chalta hai i think this is something which i was seeking for i was not able to word it hmm. and i used to ask jab main apna subah sham jyot jalati thi ki शो मी द वे सो मे बी गरिमा के जरिए वो एक वो बना मेरे लिए कि हाँ मे बी दिस इज द प्लेस आई नीड टू गो नाउ आई थिंक या सो दिस इज दिस एस्पिरेशन इन यू दैट आई वॉन्ट समथिंग एंड यू आर प्रेइंग टू द डिवाइन दिस एस्पिरेशन इज कमिंग फ्रॉम द साइकिक बींग yes this yes. is a and that's why this feeling of elation as if you have found yeah. something in life you know yes i see and, i yeah. see both the parts in my personality when i am on a vital level mai bahut judgmental bhi hu i get hurt i cry i crib and then i see the other side of me and i see is it me or is that one is who is me so i am just swaying between both of them struggling a lot ki बट देन वही अगेन आपके वाली बात की कीप दैट फेथ वन डे आई विल मे बी वन डे आई विल बी इट इज नॉट कि मैं बिल्कुल हंड्रेड परसेंट इस साइड पे हो जाऊंगी बट आई विल बी मोर क्लोजर टू दिस साइड वेयर आई शुड बी बट यस आई एम स्वेइंग एक्सट्रीमली बिटवीन बोथ द साइड बट यस दैट वॉज द मोस्ट वेल्यूएबल थिंग विच हैज बीन एडिड इन टू माई लाइफ मैन आई गोट टू नो फ्रॉम गरिमा अबाउट इट beautiful and this yeah. swaying that you are mentioning you know i think all of us can resonate with this because we actually yeah. sway from the outer nature to the inner nature then inner yes. nature to the and this is very important you know this sway yes. uh, is a part of even vedic rishis i have shared many times yes. they will yes. go through yes, these that, nights and yeah. days yes so as long yes, as yes abhi 5 6 mahine pehle life mein like kuch बहुत क्लोज रिलेशनशिप में कुछ ऐसा हुआ है कि आई एम स्टिल स्ट्रगलिंग टू गेट आउट ऑफ इट बट एट द सेम टाइम आई नो दैट पेन इज ब्रिंगिंग मी मोर एंड मोर इन टू द सर्च की एज अ फैमिली वी ऑल आर गोइंग थ्रू दैट थिंग बट आई थिंक मे बी मेरी ईगो बहुत ज्यादा बड़ी है इसलिए मेरे को हर्ट भी ज्यादा फील हो रहा है एंड ऑल दैट इट्स वेरी पेनफुल एक्सपीरियंस फॉर मी आई एम सिक्स मंथ्स आई एम नॉट एबल टू गेट ओवर इट बट that pain i know now when you say that pain is the place where the light shines through mm-hmm. so i think i just always keep on reminding myself one day mm-hmm. i will be more closer to the side where i should be yeah, beautiful yeah it's really very powerful great so we'll take reflections first on this question uh, so josha yeah. if you have a uh, reflection on any of these two with rajna di shared the first question and the second one my most valuable moment has and has always been the moment i the psychic came forward in mother's uh, meditation room downstairs in the ashram when it came so strongly that i wanted to leave everybody connected with me and everything which which was pulling me down and i wanted to just give myself wholly to her at that moment it was a flash it was very inspiring and i was just howling over there but i was not bothered it didn't phase me at all and uh, i think that has been the most defining and happiest moment of my life till date uh, the second one the feeling which i got was absolute sheer bliss i had never ever tasted bliss before never and today i felt it for the second time but it is something is like i always say that if you taste it once it is addictive you yearn to get it back again it was sheer bliss i mean short of heaven nothing else it's uh, it overpowers you yeah beautiful 
yeah and mother says that all of us are given from time to time we are given these flashes of experiences which touch the depth of our being which are coming from the depth and heights and we must mother says i i'll find out the exact lines we must hold on to the, these flashes and she says we would re, we should relive these experiences and uh, be in that consciousness that i felt in that flash so relive that state of consciousness till the next time comes yes yes and make it more real than our ordinary life you know that yes this can be my reality for example what arajna ji was also you know touching upon that yes you know i will be there so make it more and more real that that can also be my reality yeah and that's why these flashes or gifts or prasad you know are given from the high highest yeah beautiful thank you for sharing yeah nehal anything from you on this the first two uh, questions if you could reflect yeah i just i would just add something um, i re recently uh, was on a meditation retreat and um, i felt as if it was a very planned divine planned uh, gesture because it was very difficult for me to take uh, leaves and uh, go for so many days um, but then as if everything was properly planned i i was not doing anything somebody else was working and the whole thing got very smoothly uh, planned and the day i had to go for the retreat the same day uh, unknowingly my mother's friend joined us and she took me to so many different uh, very ancient temples which was totally unplanned so that particular moment i was like that you know the grace wants me to visit these these places and then go into retreat so that i really have a nice uh, you know meditative uh, refreshment achieved so this has never happened with me so it was something throughout the week i was feeling very graceful and um, maybe that is very very uh, very very memorable because i had been going to retreats but not this way the way it has come out it was like um, you can feel every moment is planned by divine and you are just supposed to follow step by step chalte raho chalte raho and it goes on so i have never felt this kind of grace previously mm, beautiful so it yeah. was very very uh, like a um, very happy moment mm. yeah. you know in savitri there are these lines that nothing is by chance you know all these chance events yeah. are actually his plans on the way <laughs> exactly yeah and uh, i i'm struggling a lot still to understand what is surrender so i keep on trying uh, to do that but uh, the clarity of what exactly is surrender should be still not there with me like we understand the word and we under we read the paragraphs but the, you have to imbibe the thought of surrender so i'm still in the process of it but when i keep doing this and it really shines out as divine blessing then you really feel that no perhaps this is what surrender must be that when you leave everything to the divine it it works in its own way and we usually do not get very easily the leaves at the institute but my principal did not ask me a single question so i was like that this can also happen if if you actually do surrender and leave it to the divine and it was miraculous actually the whole experience was very miraculous that everything set right in the right way and a uh, lot of people in the institute first time responded very positively to my retreat usually i don't get that kind of a, a respond in so many years of my job but this this time it was something very different maybe something has changed within me and that is it is a kind of a reflection mm. or maybe uh, really it is like planned in such a way that i just have to walk positively and things are coming on their own mm. Mm. that's beautiful you know i think you already gave this example of surrender in this one little case for example the one that you were sharing so imagine that i am aspiring for something yearning for something maybe this retreat or some break or whatever so what we do is we aspire intensely that's what mother says you aspire intensely you maybe create an imagination around it you know that this is what i want this is what i crave for and then you leave it leave it yeah the what and happens so, um, this, what happens really uh, no it strengthens your uh, faith yeah. that uh, there is something more powerful and let it work 
Yeah. Why are you working? You 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 can't work the way they work. So बिल्कुल. let it work. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल और अक्सर हमारे साथ क्या होता है कि अगर मुझे कुछ चाहिए है ना अक्सर ये होता है रेयर केसेस में कुछ और भी होता है बट अक्सर ये होता है कि अगर मुझे कुछ चाहिए तो मैं उसके हाथ धो के पीछे पड़ जाती हूँ अग्रेसिवली कि चाहिए 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 है ना जबकि मुझे क्या करना है इफ आई वॉन्ट टू फॉलो द सरेंडर पाथ देन आई हैव टू रियली वॉन्ट इट एस्पायर फॉर इट फ्रॉम फ्रॉम द इन साइड ऑफ मी मेक द एफर्ट्स ऑल्सो पॉसिबल बुक माई टिकट और वॉट एवर एंड देन लीव इट भैया अगर होगी मतलब मेरे साथ काफी बार हुआ है कि पॉंडीचेरी जैसे फॉर एग्जाम्पल वेन एवर आई गो आई बीन इन्वाइटेड एट कपल ऑफ टाइम्स मोस्टली इन्विटेशन ओनली क्योंकि अदरवाइज तो अपने आप में नहीं जाती ज्यादा बच्चे होते हैं घर पे तो आई हैव सीन दैट मेनी अ टाइम्स आउट ऑफ मे बी थ्री फोर विजिट अ कपल ऑफ टाइम इट गॉट कैंसल एंड थैंकफुली आई डिड नॉट फील दैट ओ माई गॉड यू नो कुछ जैसे मिस हो गया बिकॉज Thankfully, I feel the presence of mother here also now more and more, more and more. So it doesn't feel that I am as if separate from someone. But it's it's just this case. There are other cases where I need you know, more of surrender. But yeah, in this case, it was like uh, the example that you shared that you aspire and then you give it away. You offer it to the mother. And then if it has to happen, if it is necessary necessary for our growth, it shall be granted. and if it's not necessary it will not be granted so that's really very powerful yeah great so uh, let's go to the next questions uh, what brings me close to my inner nature so anyone who wants to start for me it is silence silencing myself and being in silence and i step back and watch and that brings me bang on there it's like a it's like you know shifting gears and you 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 shift your gear into you go into from first gear you are into fourth gear and then you don't stop you just say okay i'll remain this way unfortunately earlier because of my profession i never really got the time and it was 24 hours and then if we, patients want to deliver when you don't want them to deliver so it used to go on but now that i have time to myself i choose um, silence over company i choose uh, being not alone i would say or lonely but yes i choose to be away from people instead of having a crowd and i think silence helps me beautiful yeah anything on what throws me out to my outer nature if you would like to just parallelly reflect on that company yeah. company, <laughs> <What is company? laughs> you know company that people human beings you know as as i'm i'm on the path i'm realizing that i welcome collective thinking of like minded people but non like minded people who you know they they ring as it's it's at a very superficial level then that is just a momentary interaction but then you choose that oh it's a waste of time yeah you know let me move so that throws me um, that's one and i think one more thing that definitely does throw me off balance is good food <laughs> you know you are tempted with something nice to eat like golgappas or you know golgappas still break me so <laughs> i would i would definitely say that you can do my entire sadhana bhang for the day if you put me a put in front of me a plate of golgappas and the pani and all and chat i am sold for that half an hour so uh, i think that vital aspect has to be conquered somewhere where you know you don't feel anything but this definitely throws me off these two things <laughs> yeah thank you so much for sharing beautiful yeah i think i haven't reached completely the inner self so easily but i have observed that when uh, if you really slow down 
you it you really create a space to be with yourself so in my my case i am very hasty so when i really slow down and i start doing things you uh, know with with lot of pause then i start reaching myself more and when i am with nature so i really love to be in nature so when you are like in a very serene place some somewhere near a lake or maybe a forest or something everything supports you to be with yourself so that that is very easy but this other part is very easy to recollect that what puts what throws you out there are lots of things <laughs> that throw you away <laughs> so no, no the behavior of people and uh, uh, your expectations throw you away from you uh, know inner to outer because you want them to behave the way you uh, actually are expecting so in my case that's very common i get um, extremely uh easily rather easily uh, disturbed by how people react towards me and how i react towards people so that reaction part is very tricky if that gets controlled it's fine if i lose that i'm gone so fir wo to din dino tak saalon tak mahino tak chal sakta hai we kitna bhi ho aage ja sakte hain koi issue nahi hai yeah beautiful i think these are very important I, for all of us you know that it's not the actual behavior of the person but the expectation of our you know yeah. uh, what is the expectation in my head that that person should behave or yeah that is what which throws us this expectation and also the other thing that you said slowing down connects you to your inner self that's beautiful yeah so these are for us to reflect upon and then aradhana ji would share so these are just for us to reflect upon ki what brings me to my center what throws me away so that i can give more time to things which allow me to be centralized yeah aradhana ji you want to share something on this yeah mere liye when i'm reading something which is enriching like pad rahi hu kisi ke bare mein then i think ki इस लेवल पे वो कैसे सोच पा रहे हैं हाउ दे हैव मेड चेंजेस इनटू देयर लाइफ हाउ कैन देयर थिंकिंग बी लाइक दिस कि मैं उसमें से क्या लेके आई कैन ट्राई टू यू नो वर्क अपॉन दैट टू ब्रिंग दैट चेंज इनटू माय सेल्फ कि कैसे सोचते हैं लोग इस इस डायरेक्शन में कैसे होता है दैट काइंड ऑफ थिंग और या इफ आई एम एबल टू पेन डाउन थिंग्स समटाइम्स आई डू राइट बट दैट इज अगेन it it is not all the time agar aaj main soch chun ki main kuch likh lu nahi it is just like kuch surge hoti hai kuch suddenly you will for days together you will write and then if i am able to do that that is something i think it is in me and i wish ki main usko bahut regular basis pe kuch kar paun agar wo kar pati hu that is like connecting with myself or what throws me out is like just nehal was sharing kind of ये वही मेरी एक्सपेक्टेशंस हैं मे बी मे बी क्या है ही आई नो मे बी तो ये बेकार की बात है सो एंड या अभी मुझे लगता है जब ये सिक्स मंथ्स पहले जो भी एपिसोड हुआ उसके बाद ये स्टडी आई वाज थिंकिंग कि व्हाट आई वाज डूइंग व्हाट एम आई मिसिंग क्या था वो कितना स्टूपिड बातें करते थे किसी की क्रिटिसिज्म कर ली सुन ली दो बातें अपनी ऐड कर दी तो एम आई मिसिंग दैट ना Why am I hurt? अच्छा कि लग रहा है कि अच्छा कहीं अभी तो लॉकडाउन है तो बैठे हो उसके बाद कोई जाने की जगह नहीं होगी आई डोंट बिग सोशल सर्कल तो क्या बट नाउ दैट पार्ट इज ओके बट ये हाँ लोगों का बिहेवियर कुछ और है एक्शन कुछ और है वही या जैसे ज्योत्सना जी कह रहे थे कि वेन यू आर नॉट कनेक्टिंग विद द माइंड लाइक पीपल जहां पे मैं ऐसे इस लेवल पे आके कुछ बात कर सकू थोड़ी देर के बाद मुझे अनकंफर्टेबल लगने लग जाता है it it is as if i don't belong here to mujhe lagta hai i don't belong anywhere that means majority of the people jab main jaati hu thode time ke baad i become uneasy wo faltu ki apne aap ko fit karne ke liye tum koshish karte ho but sometimes i think ki na i don't belong here kuch andar uneasy hone lagta hai to and then i see i observe and some part is there which get attached also Hmm. और फिर वो अटैच्ड पार्ट के साथ एक्सपेक्टेशंस आ जाती हैं एंड देन द थिंग्स आर देन यू गेट द हर्ट्स एंड देन आई एम द काइंड ऑफ पर्सन मुझे लगता है कि बात करके अगर कुछ है तो क्लियर कर लो एंड व्हेन यू सी द अदर पर्सन इज हैविंग समथिंग इन हिज माइंड और हर माइंड 
but not talking and showing in the behavior that puts me off. Mm. So these kind of things which throw me out of my this thing, yeah. Beautiful, beautiful. So again, you know, for all of us to see that whenever we have expectations, desires, ambitions, greeds of all kind, it throws us out on the surface. It's just an observation we, which we must make for ourselves. And whenever I'm in like-minded space where I resonate more, you know, and it brings me back to my center or whatever the other things that you are sharing or listening to words of illumination, listening to nice words, reading good books, that brings us close to our center. If we are, you know, maybe writing a few lines of Savitri, that brings us enough, you know, enough one page of Savitri, a few lines of Savitri, it has done its job in our consciousness. So these are for us to realize that this is uh, how I observe my being. And then, you know, whenever I think Jyotsna ji would share more since she does art also, you know, and most other Others also, Nehal or Aradhana ji may also be involved in some art, some music. Nehal suggested something on slowing down. So in art, we slow down. In music, we slow down. If I'm observing anything, I'm sketching anything, I slow down. That brings me intimate with myself, close to myself. And that's why Mother Shorobindo has given a lot of stress on these aspects also. You know, refinement of senses, art, you know, having artistic inclinations. Because that does make a difference to our consciousness. Yeah, so, yeah please share. Yeah, that, that is what I noticed in the lockdown ka time hai yahan par, and we go for walks now. I thought I would go walk pe jati thi, but I was so chatter in I never used to look around. I saw it in front of me, this is a full of trees. Now what I started noticing is that every tree on each tree, the trees on each tree, or the I have started appreciating that thing so very much and I have started flower arrangements connecting or gardening I have involved a lot in the gardening so I think I was where I was before that is where I was what is that become more mindful now of looking at the small details Absolutely. I think this is a very important point. And like this, we will I'm never be bored. I'm surprised at myself. Bilkul. I'm surprised at myself. 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 i to my details, then I would first of all never get bored. And I would always have something one, you know, to wonder at as the wonder that Aradhana Ji was sharing. Something to marvel at. This sense of wonder is very common in children, little children, which we lose as adults as we know everything, you know. Are cheaty hai, pata to hai cheaty hai. <laughs> while, while a little child would look at the cheaty very, very carefully, ki kar kya rahi hai, kitne pair hai. But hum usko kya bali, are hat hat. <laughs> and that's how we spoil, we ruin little children. You know, we make them like us rather than we should become like them. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. So, you know, uh, uh, I think, okay, what question we are? Okay, still more questions left. Uh, uh, for this, you know, how to yeah. uh, go closer to your inner nature is a simple thing which I learned in January when I did Sakshatkara was you learn to step back. You take two steps back before you set off on your walk. But what Aradhana very nicely explained is when she goes to, when she started to observe in a walk, that means she was stepping back. She was not in the situation, but she went behind, away from the situation and then automatically observation comes in and uh, like in art, when we paint uh, or we draw, we are totally given to the form that we are creating and we get immersed in it. And then later the process of um, uh, first silencing of the mind comes, then creation comes, then surrender comes very late. And then you are totally given where you don't know whatever you're creating is getting created. 
but it begins with concentration only stepping back and concentration so it's a very easy exercise if you do it all the time i think we must try to tell ourselves and incorporate it works absolutely absolutely i think uh, stepping back is very crucial and the ways can be many one of the ways that you mentioned the everybody may you know manipulate a little here and there but the idea is mother has said much on stepping back uh, and everybody has their own ways to step back but this is very crucial stepping back is very crucial yeah. great so uh, let us move on and see uh, the next question is the best present i can give to myself so if anything came out on that the best present i can give to myself please share your reflections मेरे लिए अगेन यही कि टू बी मोर विद माय सेल्फ एंड एट लीस्ट ट्राई टू गेट रेड ऑफ द इम्पल्स या फिर एट लीस्ट बिकम अवेयर एंड एज सुन एज यू बिकम अवेयर जस्ट ट्राई टू गेट रेड ऑफ इट मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम इट डजेंट हैपन इफ यू गेट इनटू दैट लूप विद मी इट इज हैपनिंग इट इज हैपनिंग जब तक तो मैं कुछ कर रही हूँ क्रिएटिव है या कुछ भी है आई एम ओके द मोमेंट i am out of that i go back into that loop and it's very hard most of the time to get out of it so that is the one thing which i think i really 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 need to work upon is ki iska kuch fayda hai nahi it is doing more harm than good to me so that is one thing i really want to give myself beautiful beautiful <laughs> inspiration and i think you uh, just struggle hai na between the knowing and the living There is a gulf between knowing and the living. हमें मुझे पता है कि मुझे वहाँ नहीं होना चाहिए लेकिन मैं फिर भी वहाँ हूँ. And I'm मजेदार बात. I am aware. I'm going there. Yeah. I'm I'm aware कि मेरी throat के area में मेरी chest के area में कुछ हो रहा है. Sometimes I'm able to see. Okay, in awareness you watch it. But sometimes ना ऐसे हुआ उसने ये कहा उसने ये कहा उसने ये कहा. How dare this? How dare that? Then goes on and on. And उस case में क्या होता है? Two three days I stay in that thing. दोनों तरफ झूलते झूलते either i have to speak it out or i will cry loudly or man mein kuch 10 4 baatein kar lungi bol lungi ulta seedha apne mind mein and then but that is not the way to live yeah 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 i'm you, really struggling with it i'm really struggling you know this it. part that you share the throat and the chest area uh this belongs first of all to the vital also and also to the desire soul now mother and shurabindo kehte hain ki we have to move it's our journey walking from the desire soul this area which burns when people say something or i get insulted or you know maybe you are jealous about anything hateful about anything it burns and it tells you the body has a secret intelligence the body tells you that right now i am in the grip of ego this is an indicator from the body and it doesn't like it the body doesn't like it who likes burning sensation <laughs> you know and there if i can really notice that this is the grip of ego and mother says that either you distract yourself with something higher you know so in distraction in these cases is actually required because if, then otherwise what will i do i'll give more importance to the thoughts in my head woh story chalti rahegi loop mein so what i have to do is i know that the story is there it is a old habit will die hard ego is a old habit will die hard it will take a long long time now can i now go to savitri can i listen to something or read something which brings me back to my deeper self hai na because not to give this any reality kyunki main jitna isko reality deti hu ye story utna hi proportion meri life mein zyada demand karne lag jati hai aur ye sirf aapke sath nahi hai all of us resonate with this you know story of our mankind living in our stories we suffer out of the stories we don't suffer and we keep on going like a pendulum within the story outside the story within the story outside the story and the more and more we have to uh, choose to be out of the story because there is nothing there we are not going to find anything there so i think and then you read to people like rupert spira ya young pablo lagta acha oh my god they live in this kind of state all the time how can they can i मुझे लगता ना तू नहीं कर सकती है तेरा तो टेम्परेरी फेज आए तो वापस उसी में चली जाएगी बट बट आई आई कीप कीप ऑन ऑन ट्राइंग ट्राइंग या या एफर्ट एफर्ट इज रिक्वायर्ड 
great thank you so much aradhna ji yeah jyotsna ji nehal whoever wants to go next so i am very clear that i i should develop inner peace that is most important for me then only i become functional otherwise i i create lot of chaos so this is what i have learned that nothing can be more important to me than my inner peace so remove everything that is costing my inner peace otherwise it's a chaos and outside chaos is can never be inner peace so it helps in in uh, sorting out things when you know that this is costing inner peace so now this is to be rejected not to go this way go that way so th- i think this is what is what i have realized with uh, so many of the experiences that uh, you shouldn't work beyond your inner peace very nice so i think you touch upon the aspect of rejection so mother talks about these aspects no aspiration rejection surrender so rejection is i have to reject all those thoughts and feelings now i cannot start from all i have to take my baby steps <laughs> whatever mm-hmm. i see is not in alignment with inner peace or truth i reject it but many a times we are not able to reject it owing to the fact that we are attached to those stories so i do not reject that thought that thought becomes a story and the story goes on and on and on and on i was not able to reject it at the very first moment if not the moment you feel that it is becoming really heavy i have had the enough of the drama and the rest of the drama so then you reject that now the whole story is in the garbage bin you know so rejection is something which is absolutely crucial for inner peace which you are sharing yeah beautiful or oh, avoiding mother also says the even avoid those people who bring your energies down in the beginning we have to do that yeah and beginning can take a long time for us <laughs> yeah and then when we become ready slowly ready then we can expand our horizons but we have to stay away from people who bring our energies down go more to those people who expand us not our egos but our inner growth you know to those people who allow us to progress forward and dr alok pande you know that day i was sharing in the group he shares that progress is not comfortable i cannot actually have comfort and progress at the same time whenever you know my size expands my you know that hulk if you have seen hulk ekdam se bada hota hai to uski shirt phat jati hai ab progress ho rahi hai to shirt phat rahi hai you know aisa nahi ho sakta ki wo shirt bilkul same rahegi aur progress bhi hoti rahe so progress comes at the cost of discomfort that that also i have to know i cannot imagine that sab kuch badhiya 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 rahe aur main progress bhi karti rahu wo nahi hoga i will have to go through challenges i will have to go through misery but going through them i will also grow through them and an increasing inner peace in the being an increasing quietude in the being is a sign that the path is okay the path is right yeah yeah beautiful thank you for sharing nehal yeah josna ji you want to share something on this the best present best present i can give myself is being silent and attempting to remain in the psychic period there is no better present i am aspiring only for that and now i am able to give myself far longer phases of silence the universe has conspired to make me aware of that fact at the right time in the right space and i feel now there is no excuse not to grow or not to try everything is laid on a platter in a platform given to me in a tray that buddy buck up <laughs> so i have no excuse not to try enough and i am giving it my best shot beautiful he is speaking Uh, at least i would say two thirds of my waking day of my day mm. goes in something connected with the soul that's very nice beautiful, beautiful. because no i don't uh, there's no nonsense time being spent mm. great so i'm trying <laughs> great so uh, that brings us to the last one 
uh, which may be connected. If you have something more to say, please uh, share. Uh, something I would like to develop in myself. So if you could notice anything that maybe this is lacking in me and this is where I would like to improve or work further, uh, please share if you have any reflections. I think balance is what I look forward because um, there are a lot of struggles, there are a lot of limitations to overcome, but the best thing that I presently struggling is having a balance between um, being in that part which actually I don't like and being in that part where I actually should be. So many things are not in control uh, when we are living in a life. So sometimes you can't escape the situations. You have to be in particular situations, maybe for a long time. And uh, over there, you really need to balance yourself when you don't like the situation and you just don't have a go and you really have to be there for a long time and you don't know when you will be out of it. So I think uh, at that time, unnecessary remaining in frustrating position and being more... Uh, down or upset it's better you keep a balance and try to retain yourself in a complete way so that's a very difficult task because most of us would be I lose my balance a lot when I am supposed to be at a place or doing something which actually I don't want to do and I want to do something else but it's not happening at the very moment I get little time for what I actually want to do so balancing between what you have to do and what you want to do so I think that is what is the major struggle so if we achieve if you learn how to balance these things and maybe perhaps that can be also a good achievement in, in our growth so sometimes then I put it like this nowadays that maybe she wants me to be there still some some more time over here maybe some learning is left out mm. so the situation is not getting over mm. so maybe i'm i still have to learn so let us wait mm. so that is how i resolve uh, the frustration mm. that Beautiful. let it go um, maybe still it's it's not the time mm. beautiful i think that's a beautiful way to relax within yeah yeah, yeah. great and this harmony, you know, that we seek in our relationships, workplace and within the being, this harmony is a major issue. It's not only with you or us, the four of us or five of us. It's a major issue at the level of the mankind, at the consciousness level. And Sri Aurobindo and Mother have said that, have said that uh, unless the supermind comes into manifestation, true harmony cannot be. And we strive for harmony. So first, the psychic has to come forward. So psychic is the first step in this process. We cannot avoid this step. Mm. And then we, you know, then the descent of the supermind, which is again uh, years away from us. But at least we begin on the path, you know, because all that we crave for is harmony, is inner peace. And without the psychic coming in front, the inner peace and harmony or stillness and creativity, all that we cannot imagine. So, yeah, that's beautiful. Harmony. Yeah. Great. Thank you. Uh, Aradhana ji, you want to share something on this? Anything that you want to develop in yourself? Develop yehi, Monica, ki situations pe, outer situations pe to control nahi hai. To jo bhi ho raha hai, just usko accept karke awareness mein aa jau ki thik hai, this is what it is. And tumhara goal ye nahi hai ki us cheez mein attack ke zindagi ko pitao. Okay, dwell over it for some time if you want to, but try to move forward, which I'm not able to do at the moment <laughs> at all. It is just more and more surrender state. Yeah. Actually, tadap bahut zaruri hai. Just tadap ki aap mention kar rahe ho na, that I know what is the right way to do, but I am not able to do it. You know, if I am very okay with the situation, there may be disharmony in the house or in the being, but I'm very okay with it. I don't, it doesn't matter to me. That will never change the situation. When I will have discontent with the situation, we talk about discontent, dissatisfaction, we take it in a negative connotation. 
तू कंटेंट नहीं है ये कैसे हो सकता है कंटेंट हो कंटेंट हो सो डिसकंटेंट इज अ वेरी ब्यूटीफुल थिंग बिकॉज इट्स मेक्स इट मेक्स अस प्रोग्रेस दैट यस आई एम नॉट सेटिस्फाइड विद द हार्मनी विद इन माय बी आई वांट मोर हार्मनी सो मदर आल्सो सेज दैट नेवर गेट सेटिस्फाइड विद योरसेल्फ बिकॉज द मोमेंट आई गेट सेटिस्फाइड कि भैया मेरा तो हो गया आई फॉल इनटू एनर्जी एंड कंफर्ट जोन प्रोग्रेस विल बी स्टैग्नेटेड so it's beautiful to have a uh, tasted beauty which you have which you shared your experiences and then the want for more beauty and more taste this is very important and crucial and this comes from the psychic this aspiration towards more harmony more beauty comes from the psychic element which is amazing you know that if you have those experiences so i think uh, it's really beautiful to hear all these reflections on uh, the uh, the questions so the next question that comes after i think we'll stop there although i had more material but i think this much is enough for today so let us uh, reflect upon i think most of us may be already doing that uh, am i now ready to spend time on it every day what we have talked about today the inner being the inner space because that's what some of us may face many of us may have found our own zone and you know spending time on it but for some of us it's still a challenge living in the present situations living with the same people how do i find time for myself this inner quiet work self observation you know inner quietude am i ready to time spend time on it every every day we have to answer for our own self where can i find a quiet place for myself if there are disturbances around many of us may be living alone for them it's not a problem but you know if we are living together with little children here or there then would i be able to find a quiet place and to also make sure that i would not be disturbed if it i am allotting some time to this observation or silent contemplation which will then grow into my whole day it's not that i will need it for a whole of my time 30 minutes in the morning during the dawn time i you know everybody is asleep i have done my job now those 30 minutes will carry their work throughout the day and slowly the whole day will become those 30 minutes you know slowly i would not need any separate time that's our possibility that every day every moment becomes meditative that uh, i am not feeling ke oh my god mujhe akele baithna hai bahut ho gaya bahut ho gaya kafi baar aisa lagta hai na ki we are so overwhelmed with the situation ki ab mujhe kuch to akela time de do you know but we are hoping that's our higher possibility that slowly all the moments become meditative full of observation full of quietude so that in the midst of happenings i am situated somewhere which is beyond all happenings so uh, i think we can stop here then and then the further uh, process or the worksheets we will continue the next time and uh, yeah so uh, i think jyotsna ji and aradhana ji you are not on those groups the sunday group you are not there but it would be a repetition so i'm not adding you on that group group you already have the link and you already have the time uh, for for now it will remain 3 pm and whenever you can join uh, if not you can join you can uh, catch up with the recordings but it's good if we interact and talk about you know these questions it's always nice for everyone so whenever you feel like joining just follow the same link and join yeah. great there was one thing i wanted to mention yeah please uh, about finding a quiet place i battled a lot with this throughout my life and uh, it is it was always a challenge in day to day life to find a quiet place and uh, for myself but then i realized when someone gave me the definition of <laughs> diabetes and they said you are floating in sweetness in the midst of plenty and yet you starve so it's a choice you make you know in diabetes your blood is full of sugar and yet your cells are deprived of the sugar so there is goodness and divinity all around us but we are starving of it because we want a perfect setting right 
there is a way to create a perfect setting where even in a crowd, your mind can remain silent if you choose to make it silent. By the same token, if you decide to, you want to pray or you want to aspire very strongly for something and you're sitting at a railway station which couldn't get more peaceful than it is, what will you do? You can find that space to be silent if you decide to be silent. And I have uh, experimented with that and I have found that even if you go to a party, say the, a nonsense party, and you don't want to be in the thick of it, you can actually, you can be on your own trip you uh, sometimes you have to just nod at the right times or at the wrong times or just nod but otherwise it is possible like if somebody says something to you you know jaise uh, suppose monica says are josna ji aapko to kuch akal hi nahi aap kuch bhi bol dete ho i should feel bad are usne mujhe kaha main uski umar se double hu ye wo wala blah 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 but no, if you decide that, like mother says, that maybe that thing is in me. So that's why she's pointing it out to me, though I'm finding the fault in her. And bang on, you go into silence, you ask yourself, you tell yourself, and you don't know what's happening around you outside. So I felt. I yeah, absolutely. absolutely. But even in the chaos, mm. I have learned you can be silent. One can do it. Absolutely. And one must actually, uh, that is uh, progressive, progressive stages, I would say, you know, just like a little sapling. When I plant a little sap, sap, sapling, I have to actually make a fence around it because it can be trampled over. And that's why if we, that's in for those of us who are beginning to have uh, finding these spaces, it sometimes helps because I'm not yet a grown tree. You know, a tree can be in the middle of everything and yet it would not lose, lose the roots. The example that you were sharing in the middle of chaos, I can be in my own space. Absolutely with you. But in the beginning, we may need fence around. So, uh, yeah. Cases and the time slots, when you're 100% sure. Yeah. Like, you know, if, when I began, it used to be early morning and very late at night when I'm going to sleep, I say good night, turn around and behave as if I'm fast asleep when actually I'm not. Yes, yes. And that one hour I would rob literally, you know, from Absolutely. my little girl mm -hmm. and she would think mama has gone to sleep so I won't chat. But then actually I was doing my own thing, whatever I wanted to reminisce on the day or what changes I should make to myself or how I can improve or how I can step back your techniques. But then it works. Absolutely. Later it takes over you in cooking and in you know your day to day course. Bilkul, bilkul. So These are Aradna, very I remembered ki yeah. Aradna aap kisi bhi, kisi bhi jaga par ho, par agar aapko khud ke saath rehna hai, or samjhota karna hai to aap kar sakti hai. Bilkul, bilkul. Because if we are living in a family, getting up early, a little early, you know, giving yourself half an hour, one hour, and even at night, bedtime, giving yourself another one hour extra, or you know, this is these are beautiful times, especially for those of us who are living amongst people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Yeah. And anyway, dusk and dawn have special significance, you know, transitional times. They have special significance uh, in spiritual literature also. I say this is what we think, think, think. If a person is going to sleep, it's the best thing. The biggest thing is that it will be the biggest thing. If you talk to them and talk to them, it will be the biggest thing. You know, it will work. It will work. I have done it. When I was very tired, I 
तो मैं पूछती थी कि मेरे पास आपके लिए टाइम नहीं है आई कान डू इट एंड पता नहीं कहाँ से स्फूर्ति आती थी कहाँ से वो एनर्जी आती थी कि मैं मैं अपना पूरा दिमाग सॉर्ट आउट करके अपने थैंक यूज बोल के उसके बाद में मैं सो जाती थी बिल्कुल बिल्कुल यू कैन या टू मेक दिस कम्युनियन विद द डिमाइन रिलेशनशिप विद द डिवाइन एब्सोल्युटली ब्यूटीफुल ग्रेट सो एनी एनी फर्दर रिफ्लेक्शंस फ्रॉम एनीवन नेहल और आराधना जी एनीथिंग मोर ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच फॉर रिफ्लेक्टिंग टुगेदर गिविंग दिस टाइम एंड स्पेस इन योर लाइफ and let us continue we'll meet next sunday uh, at the same time if those of us are again interested anyway the recordings will be put up so i'll uh, share the recordings on youtube thank you for joining thank you bye bye thank you everyone bye everyone bye <laughs>